So what is going on guys, Fernando Silva here with another video and one of the main questions that I get asked or kind of multiple questions in kind of the same category is what camera do you use to record your videos? What gear do you use to get these videos done? What's your YouTube workflow like? Can you start a tech YouTube channel in 2021? So those are all the questions that we're gonna answer today and I'm gonna show you guys how to get started, what you kind of need, should you go out and buy an expensive camera? Quick answer is absolutely not. Do not go spend money on a camera, especially if you're just starting out. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what tools I use and how to very cheaply get started with kind of some of the basics that I would recommend that everybody get. But without further ado, let's get it started. So to get started, let's actually talk about the gear that I use to record these videos. So for the camera itself, I'm using an iPhone. I'm using the iPhone 11 Pro Max to record these videos. And if you guys say that, hey, you don't have an iPhone 11 Pro Max or newer, I started or I reinvigorated the channel with an iPhone 10. And then if you go all the way back to my very first video, I wanna say like five, six, seven years ago, I think that was recorded on an iPhone 5. Three, my first ever YouTube video. Uh, I wanted to do a desk tour for the new year. I know it's a little late, but hopefully you guys. We're gonna start this video by going. So my first video that I published to YouTube was recorded with an iPhone 5. Now, did I keep up with it five years ago, seven years ago? No, I didn't. I didn't really reinvigorate it until about a year and a half ago. But that reinvigoration was done on an iPhone 10. And again, I'm still rocking a 18 month old device to record my point and shoot, my A roll, my B roll, my slow mo. Everything is done with my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And you're seeing the fruits of the labor on the channel. We're nearing 25,000 subscribers and I have not spent a dime on camera gear, which is kind of a little bit of a different way to go about this because the iPhone, it just works for me. It works for my workflow. I don't do anything very complicated. I don't do anything very cinematic. And also AirDrop has been my best friend because my main editing device is an iPad Pro, which works so well within that ecosystem. So that is the camera that I use. Now, will I get an actual camera? I might eventually dive into that realm just to get a second camera angle, but it's not because the iPhone isn't enough. It's more so the iPhone just doesn't have another camera angle that I would like to have. So in the future, maybe I will get a camera or I actually have this Sony A5100 from about four or five years ago. The lens is broken, the body still works, but the screen is cracked. So I haven't actually gone out of my way to fix it or gone out of my way to buy another sensor because again, they're expensive and right now this works perfectly fine. So when I find a desperate need to get a second camera or get this one activated again, then I'll go that route. And then in terms of peripherals, because this is where people go wrong, right? So first thing people ask is, hey, what camera do I need? I say, use whatever phone you have in your pocket. It doesn't need to be the latest and greatest iPhone. A lot of Android phones, two, three, four years old, can still record in 1080p and that's all you really need to get started. So some of the things that do help if you're going with the smartphone route, the smartphone camera route, are just some peripherals, right? Some tripods, things like that. And one that I am a diehard lover for, that I've had for, I wanna say nine months now at this point, is this like starter vlogger kit by a company called Movo. Now this company didn't sponsor the video or send any products over. I paid, I think it's about a hundred bucks off of Amazon for this, for this pack and it brings a bunch of stuff. And again, it's in the name, so it's a starter kit. So ideally it's gonna bring everything you would need to use your smartphone as your camera or even if you have a smaller point and shoot camera, that'll work as well with this kit. So just to go over some of the things that you do get in the kit. The first thing which is nice is that you get like a hard shell cover zip up kind of travel pack with it which I like to have because I do bring this with me if I do go on road trips or anything like that because I like to just have the versatility to bring this wherever I want. And again, it's a small pack, it's not huge. You can fit this in a regular backpack along with all your other regular things that you bring in your backpack because it's really not that big. And in the pack itself, like I said, it's a starter kit. So you get everything that you would need to get started. You get a bottom three-legged tripod mount that you can kind of screw onto anything. You get a 18 inch extender, which is nice. So you can go from nine inches to 18 inches in terms of height and how tall you want it to be. It also brings a 360 swivel top, which is something that's kind of rare. And it's, again, it, a lot of this stuff, you would think it's kind of cheap because you're getting so much bubbled into it. Some of it is made of plastic, but like this swivel top is made out of pure metal and it's such a wonder to use. And I've been using this swivel top on a bunch of other tripods as well as my main swivel top because it gives me all those angles that I would want and that 90 degree drop down or top down view that I need when I'm doing maybe some product reviews or some POV type things. And then along with all that, you also get the actual holster for the smartphone camera or the smartphone that you're using that can extend, I think up to like a 7.1 inch screen. So no matter what phone you have, and I did use an iPhone 12 Pro Max for a two week span before I sent it back and it fit on here with no problems whatsoever. And then you also get an actual directional microphone with a, I believe it's like a cat thing. I, don't, I forget what it's actually called, but the little 
the little cat thing that you put to muff it up to make sure that you're getting good clean sound. It does bring one of those as well as a microphone and the little cap to actually put it onto the actual smartphone and the holder itself. And it brings two of these because one of these actually did break, but it was my own fault. But it brings two of them just in case you do break them and that's what's on this one right now. And then on top of that, it even brings a 3.5 millimeter jack that goes from your phone all the way to the actual microphone. The one thing that you do need to get, especially if you are rocking an iPhone 12 because it didn't come with this, is that lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter, which I just happen to have, but you can, I think, get it for like 10 bucks on Apple or get a third party one that would work perfectly fine. But I've used that same setup and all of that goes into this little package and gives me a wonderful way to kind of set myself up. And like I said, for $100, it's really a, just a great value because again, it gives you that versatility that you wouldn't have. Because before, I was kind of standing my phone up against books. You know, when you're starting out, you're kind of using whatever you can to angle the camera correctly. Like you, you should have seen earlier what I was doing. I was putting them in between books on top of shelves and making sure that I had the right angle. But now with this, no matter where I go, I know that I have the correct angle because of the swivel top and all the versatility that I have with the tripod and things like that. And it even brings a hand mount. So if you want to vlog with it, so you just want to put the hand mount, with the swivel top and the phone holder, and you can just kind of vlog with it, that's what that's for. So getting a starter kit like this, and I know there's other ones, so Movo is one that I recommend because I've used it and everything has worked perfectly so far for I believe nine months at this point, but there are other brands that make it. I know Joby makes one. I looked at that one first, but the Joby full starter kit was $200 and it's directly associated with Apple. So that's another one if you guys want to go with that route, but Movo for hundred bucks, hard to compete with in my opinion. So that is all of the actual hardware that I use. and then. I do have a ring light that I purchased separately, but it's sitting on the stand that I got from the Movo set because I do use a separate tripod because just because it's a little bit taller. And again, it's a very cheap tripod. I'll link it below. I think I got it for like 20 or 25 bucks. It's nothing to write home about, but it works well for the, for the iPhone and what I use it for. So I think in total for gear, I've spent about 130, maybe 140 bucks over a span of about a year and a half because I still use my phone as my main camera with no issues whatsoever. And then if we move over to what I actually edit my videos with, because I did want to make this mostly on how to start a YouTube channel, but I did want to get my YouTube workflow in there a little bit, right? So once I'm done recording this A-roll, I then go out and film some B-roll, usually handheld. I do have a two-axis gimbal that was sent over to me a while ago that works decently well, but I'd rather just, again, go to 60 FPS, 4K on the iPhone camera and just walk smoothly with my hands. And for the most part, I get good B-roll shots. And then after that, I airdrop all the footage to the iPad Pro right behind me. And then from there, use LumaFusion to edit it. And basically after it's done editing, export it to my photos, upload it through the YouTube app, do whatever I need to do from an administrative perspective, like the tags, the description, things like that. And then finally just publish it. So that is my beginning to end from like ideation to film creation, to recording, to setup, all the way to publishing it onto YouTube and getting these YouTube videos out to everybody that enjoys watching them. So. That is pretty much this video. I wanted to show off again that Movo starter set because I think it works very, very well for people that want to start and use their smartphone as their main camera. Because I do recommend, if you do want to get onto YouTube right now, today, the best thing to do, open up your camera, lean it up against the book, and start recording whatever video you want to make. And then, you know, after a video or two or three or five, whatever the case may be, 10 videos, you want to be able to put your phone in different places, get yourself a starter kit or get yourself a tripod don't go crazy. Don't spend thousands of dollars on a camera right away unless that's already your hobby and that's what you do. But if you're purely just trying to get tech videos out or any videos out whatsoever from your smartphone, this is a great way to start and I highly recommend going that way. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video. If you guys have any comments, any questions, comment below, you know, in regards to durability on the Movo, what it's used for, if it fits on small phones, because all of the above is durability is great. I haven't had an issue with any phones whatsoever. It does fit, I think. You can put an iPhone original SE in here and it'll still tighten shut perfectly all the way up to a 7.1 or 7.2 inch iPhone or smartphone, or I guess at that point, a mini iPad. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, leave comments below. Are you guys planning to start a YouTube channel? Would you start it on in 2021? What are some of the things that are holding you guys back? Because hopefully a lot of it is gear and know-how and what you need. And hopefully this video kind of helps you out. So basically, if you have a smartphone, if you have any tablet, especially on the iPad side, even if it is like a lower generation, maybe two, three, four years old. It doesn't need to be an iPad Pro. It could be an older iPad Air, an older original iPad. LumaFusion will work well and work well enough for you to get started. So don't go out and buy a brand new iPad. Don't go out and get a new MacBook, a new camera, a new iPhone. Use what you have around you and just get started. So that is my piece of advice for everybody. But thank you so much for watching. If you guys made it to the end, that means you liked the video. So definitely smash that like button, help out and uh, get this video out in front of more viewers. Check out channel sponsor Paperlike. So if you do have an iPad, 
keep that screen protected because that is the number one thing that determines resale value on those iPads. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time. Oh, 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 o